AT&T Park in San Francisco. It's Phillies baseball on the show next. A look there at the home of the Giants. Beautiful AT&T Park in San Francisco. It's the opener of this three-game series between the Phillies and the San Francisco Giants. Hi again, folks. Welcome back to Phillies baseball here on the show. Alongside me are Eric Karros and Steve Lyons. And Steve, a good matchup on the mound here in this opener. Well, look, look at both of these guys. Neither one of them have been a shutdown type of guy so far this season. The ERAs, it's always a dead giveaway. They're up. And I think each have to avoid the unnecessary stuff. The wild pitches, the walks, the hit batsmen. Those things have a tendency to really add up on you, and they can sink your chances at a win. More from the guys as this one goes along. But first, Ben Revere will move towards the batter's boxes. We're just about set to get underway tonight. Center fielder, number two, Ben Revere. Now here's a fastball up that he sends in the air out to fairly deep center field. Pagan is there, and it's a first pitch out to start the ball game. One of the keys to the game for this guy is going to be getting out early in the count. It doesn't necessarily have to be one pitch like it was there, but he needs to keep those 20-pitch innings to a minimum. That's a good start to the game for him there. And he turns this one around high and deep to center field. Pagan is back to the warning track, and he's able to put it away for the second out. Pretty nice way to start your evening. Two pitches, two outs. You can bet. Pitch count will not be a factor if he can keep that base up. Mike Franco will have his first opportunity now as it comes with the bases empty here in the top of the first. Now a swing, and how about this? A third straight fly ball out the center. And Pagan will glide over and put it away as that ends the inning. So a 1-2-3 top of the first for Tim Lincecum. Now it'll be the Giants' turn. No score. Starting lineup for the host Giants looks like this. center fielder Angel Pagan. He'll get us started in the home first. This is lifted the other way out to left center. Brown is there to make the catch and it's a one pitch out to start the home first. A look here at the scouting report as we'll show you what to expect moving forward from the 30 year old right hander. Gary Brown will be the batter. Here's the first pitch. Down and away, one ball and no strike. Eric, you take a look at our visiting club as they take the field tonight here in the bottom of the first. They come into this one in decent form as despite the loss last time out, they've won six of their last nine. And this is a battle of two first place clubs here. Maybe even a couple of clubs that might meet again come October. Who knows? This is going to be a good one. That one's in there. Three and one. This is the thing that's so impressive about this guy. He'll show you that good breaking ball, but then he'll run that fastball up the ladder at 92, 93. And he missed with that one. It's ball four. A one-out walk here in the home first. Buster Posey will get his first shot here with the runner at first now and one away. Swung on and missed for the first strike. It's so important with guys like this to get ahead with strike one. Put them behind in the count and on their back foot right away. And he lays off here. It's a ball and a strike to the Giant backstop. Hit hard towards the hole. And that'll get on through into right field for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Let's watch this swing and show motion. You're going to see this pitch just tie him up in knots. But somehow, he's able to fist it all the way out to right field. Swung on and hit in the air to left. Oh, and he misses it. Now the relay home is in time, and he's cut down at the plate as they team up to gun him down. Casey McGee 
come forward now in an RBI opportunity he probably didn't think he'd have. Yeah, it certainly didn't look like he'd have one, but now's where you really have to make teams pay. Nothing will demoralize a team in the field quite like having two out airs that lead to runs. 1-0. And he won't bite at that one either. It's 2-0. And one thing you can't do here, you cannot lose him and load the bases. He's still got a couple pitches to play with, but I'd expect this one to be somewhere in the strike zone. To two and two now. And sometimes if you don't get to a guy like this early, and you're never going to get to him. So you don't want to let this chick on. Uh, hold that thought as this ball gets down for a base hit. And a relay home. And the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Giants leave a couple. Played an inning. No score. Adrian Beltre to start us off in the second inning, and I believe Steve Patience ought to be the watchword here. Yeah, down on three pitches in the first inning. That's making life a little too easy for him out there. And he grooves the fastball there. This is hit high and deep out to straightaway center field. And it's gone! He liked the first pitch he saw and deposits it over the wall. So a solo home run off the bat of Adrian Beltre. Home run number nine on the year. And the Phillies grab a one to nothing lead. And about the only silver lining to this one from a defensive standpoint is the fact that it came with the bases empty leading off an inning. So you can survive it when this guy's hitting just solo shots. It's when he's doing his damage with two or three guys on base that things can really get out of hand in a hurry. Stepping in now, Cameron Rupp. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. E.K., you look at the Giants as they begin play here tonight. They're coming off another victory last time out, and now they're winners of eight of their last nine ball games. Yeah, they're starting to open up some ground at the top of the division, and when you're setting a good pace at the top, it can be frustrating for those teams that are chasing you because they start thinking, what do we have to do to make up some ground? Bases are empty here, nobody out. A 1-1 from Lincecum. Out in front as this is drilled into left field. That's a base hit. You think he was looking for a fastball there? I think he was. That's about as hard a hit ball as you're going to see. And he was right on that one. In is the second baseman, Chase Utley. Swing and a ball hit fairly well, heading high and deep toward right center. And this will find the gap. Extra bases for Utley. Around third and being waved on home. And the runner will score from first. And he will pull into third with an RBI triple. So now time will be called as we're going to get a visit from the pitching coach here as he'll hope to settle his guy down. Dominic Brown will dig in now with two runs already home and a potential third waiting in the wings only 90 feet away. First pitch now from Lincecum. Swing and a liner. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. A runner in scoring position with none out. Lincecum ready. The 0-1. Here's a late swing and a miss. Strike two. There's not a whole lot of conviction in that swing. It was almost like an afterthought, like an emergency hat. Now a swing by Brown as this ball is drilled out to deep right field. And that'll get down out there near the wall. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a 3 nothing cushion. And the relay throw is right by him at third base. And now they'll get him at third base. Trying to move up further, but a run is already across to score. Well, once this ball got out there, you figured it was a sure double, but he decided to risk it and try for three. 
It's a pretty big gamble to take when you're already in scoring position, and here it doesn't pay off. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Pops this one up just beyond the infield on the right side. Arias is in his tracks now, and there's the second out of the inning. Chad Billingsley will stand in. First pitch on the way. Starts things here with a changeup for a called strike. Now the pitch. Oh, and he's really getting the better of him now. It's strike two. Yeah, when that's upstairs like that, that's a pitch you've got to leave alone and make him bring something down. Swing and a hot shot toward third. And this is going to be a fair ball as it'll head to the corner. And he's able to hustle his way up to second as he'll reach here with a two-base hit. Boy, they are really sticking it to him right here. That's the fifth hit he's coughed up in this inning alone, and you got to believe that that leash is getting a little bit shorter with each passing batter. Ben Revere will get a second crack at it here. He flied out to lead off the ball game. Now the first pitch. Here's a swing and a ground ball. Uh, this gets foul. It's 0-1. set now the pitch and the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there but one thing he's shown so far he's not afraid to work inside yeah with that base open right now he shouldn't have to be afraid if you do hit him big deal and a reach but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball and the runner at third will put the brakes on here as they didn't want a chance at even with two outs boy he has really taken a pounding out there that's six hits now he's given up in just this inning alone and it's beyond time for a change. You've got to get him out of there. Damian Trejo will step in now with three home in the inning and another two men out there on base. This inning's really starting to unravel quickly from a defensive point of view. This is where you need a nice pop-up in a big way. First pitch coming. Runners off for second. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. Belt will take this one himself, and that ends the inning. So they pick up three runs on six base hits, no errors, and two men left stranded. We'll go to the bottom half of inning number two. Phillies lead this one three to nothing. Justin Maxwell will stand in now, still struggling to get anything going offensively. Justin Maxwell. Now a fastball a bit too low here. It's ball one. The pitch. Now a ball hit fouled off to the right side, and that just about got the first base coach. The 1-1 home. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's 2-1. And, and the pitch. A late swing here as this is hit hard to the right side. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at 2-2. Two 2-2. Two. Two, two. On a good curveball, gets him swinging for wrap number one. And sometimes up there you just get completely fooled. I mean, I think he changed his mind about swinging at this pitch about three different times while it was on its way to the plate. I'm going to swing. No, no, no. Uh, I'm going to take it. Oh, well, I better try to at least foul it off. And in the end, he got nothing. Brandon Crawford will stand in and he's been a tough out these past couple of weeks as you see the average there over the course of the last nine ball games and here's a first pitch curveball that bounces on him there it's ball one yeah those are the ones you like to start in that bat especially the first time up I agree give me a nice easy one in the dirt that I can take so I can really get ahead in that count early and now a called strike that time as the zone expands a bit here it's two and one now whether you like it or not now that you've seen what the strike zone is going to be like, you're going to have to make an adjustment. The 2-2. Two -two. Hit well, but fouled that time by Crawford, as this will find the seats down the line in right. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Here we go. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. You have to figure that he's really going to need to keep the walks in check if he's going to have success here. 
I was thinking the same thing. No free rides. You've got to make these guys earn it. And he'll flip it to the pitcher covering for the out. Joaquin Aria will get his first chance now. Trying to get something started with two away here in the bottom of the second. Yeah. Breaking ball for a strike. 0 and 1. Here it comes. Right That's in there as well. It's a quick 0 and 2 count. High strikes, probably not on the docket for places he wants to be. Yeah, I mean, it's no secret. You've got to keep the ball down against a team like this. If you and we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning. So a fairly routine inning that time for Chad Billingsley as he holds on to a 3-0 lead. Michael Franco is ready to go here as we begin the third. Shortstop, Michael Franco. Here's the pitch. Now a swing and a softly hit ground ball. But a foul ball here, 0 and 1. Now here's the pitch. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out toward deep right field. And say goodbye to that one. Into the seats in right for a home run. A solo shot here to straightaway right field. Number 10 for him on the year. As the Phillies have opened things up now 4 nothing. Well, and now that's the second home run that he's allowed here in just two-plus innings of work. And no question, they've had his number here in the early going. And now they stretch the lead out even further. Here's the third baseman, Adrian Beltre. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. Foul. Base is empty here with nobody out. Now here's the pitch. And now a pitch hit sharply on the ground. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. The 0-2 coming now from Lincecum. Now, here's a fastball up that he sends in the air out to fairly deep center field. And he will run this one down, moving to his right, and that's the first out of the inning. Well, he gets you out there, but he's not missing many bats right now. The guys are really putting together some good swings against him so far. Cameron Rupp will dig in with one in and one away. First offering on the way. Called a strike on the outer half. 0-1. One out, nobody on. Now the pitch. Swung on and hit pretty well out to deep left field. Brown is going to get there as he backs up to put it away. And there are two gone now. The second baseman is number 26. So bases are empty here with two gone. And making his way in is the second baseman, Chase Utley. First pitch coming. On oh, a less than impressive swing there to start the at-bat. It's 0-1. Yeah, he really pulled off of that one. And that's not the kind of swing we're accustomed to seeing from a guy like him. Especially starting off an at-bat. Swing, hard hit ball to second. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. But the Bills tack on one more on this solo home run. Bottom of the third coming up. It's now 4-0 Philadelphia. Tim Lincecum makes his way to the plate to get us started here in the bottom of inning number three. And there's the fastball Billingsley has that we've heard so much about. Good for strike one. And Lincecum offers it that one and misses, and he's in the hole now, down 0-2. And, and that's almost a carbon copy of that last fastball, and he buried both of those pitches right on the inside corner. And he will make the catch here right in front of the screen, and that's your first out. Angel Pagan will try it again. He flied out to start the home first. And a breaking ball backs him out of the way. 
1 and 0 the count. Pitch on the way. And a strike to even the count. 1 and 1. And now pitch on the way. Here's a hard hit ball ripped down the first base line. And a backhanded reach at first, but he can't flag it down. He'll get it into second, and he'll cruise into the bag at second with a one-out double. Yeah, no hesitation there as we train our camera directly on him. Once this gets down the line, he's thinking two right out of the box, and he's able to beat the throw into second and leg out a double. Standing in now, Gary Brown, as he'll take a look at a curveball that misses wide for ball one. Well, we'll give you a look there at the graphic. He's at second with his 18th double of the year. Now a swing and a bouncing ball for Utley at second. And a throw over to Howard, and that's the second out. Boy, as a hitter, you know you're hoping to get that ball into the outfield somewhere, make it hit the grass, give your guy a chance to score. In this situation, all he does is get to third base. That's not a big help. Buster Posey is in for his second plate appearance as he looks at a ball that's 1-0. Throw on to the first baseman, Howard, and with that, the side is retired. A golden opportunity to get on the board here goes for naught. More in a moment on the show, the Friday Night Showcase. Dominic Brown will stand in now to get us going here in the fourth. First pitch now from Lincecum. And this is lifted in the air out to left. Brown is under it to put it away, and it's a quick one pitch out to begin the fourth. Well, any time you can retire this guy, that's good. Any time you can do it leading off an inning, that's great. And any time you can do it on one pitch, that's a full trifecta right there. Oh, and Howard got a pitch he liked there, but winds up pulling this one well foul into the stands in right. Lincecum ready, the 0-1. Here's a fastball that crowds him a bit, and it's 1-1. One and one. And Even though he's given up his share of hits so far, he still hasn't walked anybody, so at least he's got that going for him. And here's a pitch swung on and missed, 1-2 and two now. Well, as we've seen so far, this isn't a team that's going to wait around too long to feel a pitcher out. They're an aggressive team all the way from top to bottom. And if that first pitch is anywhere close, most of these guys are going to take a hack at it. Here's another one, two. And that is swung on and missed. He's down on strikes. And the first two are retired here to begin inning number four. Right over the top here with the four-seam fastball. Good drive through the release. Just threw it right by him in the letters. Into the box, Chad Billingsley. As he'll cut on and miss it, a good slider at the knees for strike one. Now here it comes. And the 0-1 is lifted in the air out to right. Oh, and he misses it. Yeah, it looked like a fairly routine play there. Don't know if he took his eye off it or what, but he winds up basically whiffing on the catch, and that's going to wind up a two-base error. And it looks now like a right-hander's getting hot in the Giants' bullpen. Here's Ben Revere. As he goes after the first pitch and lines one out toward right center. And that's in there. Base hit. And a relay to the plate. And on the error, a run is going to score. Well, that two-out hit there makes that air loom extra large now. you got to make sure you get this next guy before this inning gets any further out of control. Damian Trejo will try and keep things going now with the runner at first following the RBI single. Now here's the first pitch. Rip toward the gap in right. No one's going to get to this one, and it should be good for extra bases. Around third and being waved on home. And add one more as this is now a 6-0 ball game. And now there's no happier person in the ballpark. 
Damian Trejo has just recorded his first hit as a big leaguer. And as you'd expect would happen, there's the ball being sent into the dugout. Someone will tuck it away for him to put in his trophy case. And you know, Matt, nothing can quite prepare you for this kind of moment. Of course, as a player, you always expect to do well. And in your head, you've got a certain idea of what it's going to feel like. But there's quite a difference between imagining how it's going to feel and then actually getting that first hit. Now here comes Bruce Bochy out of the Giants' dugout on his way to the mound. And that'll be the last we see tonight of Tim Lincecum. Ryan Vogelsong is going to come on and make an appearance here, though I suspect even he couldn't have predicted he'd be taking over in just the fourth inning. Michael Franco will be his first assignment upon entering as he'll bat with the runner in scoring position here and two away. Here's the first pitch to him. Now here's his swing, and a ball hit well out there toward right center. And this is turning ugly now as this ball's down for extra bases. And the route is officially underway. It is 7 to nothing. Oh, and he runs right through the stop sign. And it's in time, and he's out at the plate. So one runs across, but the second one is cut down trying to score. So three runs on three hits, one error, and no one left. To the bottom of inning number four we go. The Phillies lead it seven to nothing. Back alongside Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, Matt Baskirchen, as it'll be Brandon Belt getting ready to lead things off here for San Francisco. Now a breaking ball runs in on him as he's got to get his hands out of the way on that pitch. And that guy right there is the beneficiary of all these early runs. He's got to be the happiest guy in the ballpark. And he watches one miss outside, 2-0 and oh now. Right. And there's the first strike, 2-1. and one. That's a great call there on 2-0. and oh. The whole world's thinking fastball, but they dropped the hammer on him. Goes the other way as this is line to left. Brown is right there as he puts it away, no problem for the first down. And, you know, it's pretty safe to say that anytime you give a guy seven runs of support here in the first half of a ball game, he's probably going to be okay out there. And he gets the first out of this inning here. Casey McGee is in for the second time here as he looks at one outside. It's 1-0. And he sends it the other way toward right center. And he will make the play. Two away now. Our next telecast comes your way tomorrow. And it's no small assignment for these guys. They'll get Jake Peavy in tomorrow's affair. And you can catch all the action here on the show. Justin Maxwell will stride in again. He struck out swinging his first time. A good sharp curve that time from Billingsley. It's strike one. The pitch. And now a curveball that bounces up to the plate. It's one and one. Now here's the pitch. One one pitch is a curveball just off the black. Two and one now. Yeah, he's not really getting on top of that curveball right now. That's going to get him into trouble if he keeps leaving it up there like that. And, oh, he's really given some leeway on the outside edge here. Two and two now. So far, he's the only guy. And we'll have to leave it there as this is strike three, and that will retire the side. Giants are down one, two, three. They need to get something cooking here. It's seven nothing. Adrian Beltre will make his way towards the box to lead off the fifth. Now some action out in the Giants' bullpen as they'll have both a left-hander and a right-hander get loose. And now the first pitch of the inning is sent in the air out to straightaway center. Over to get it now is Pagan as he takes charge for the first out. Now batting, catcher, Cameron Rupp. Cameron Rupp. We'll dig in now. A single and a fly out for him in two trips thus far. Now the first pitch. And now the second pitch of the inning is hit in the air to center. And this is handled easily, so quickly two are gone here to start the fifth. Two pitches, two fly balls, two easy outs. He's probably out there saying, man, why can't it always be this easy? And 
And here's the first pitch. Out in front as this is pulled foul into the seats. And the pitch. Hit hard, but foul. Now the pitch. And he comes back with a fastball. Strike three called, and the inning is over. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. And they hold a 7-0 lead. Brandon Crawford will stand in to start things out here in the home half of the fifth. And you get the sense, Steve, that this crowd's been pretty well taken out of the ballgame to this point. Yeah, they pretty much had to sit on their hands all afternoon. Not a lot to get excited about so far. And I think that's a credit to that man out there on the mound. He's cut right through this lineup for the first four innings. But Utley is in the right place at the right time. There's one gone. Joaquin Aria will dig in here. He flew out his first time around. Joaquin Aria. He'll start him with a breaking ball. Too low that time. It's ball one. Pitch on the way. It high and deep out to left field. A leap, but he can't bring it back into the park. It's a home run. A solo shot here to left, and they're now on the board, though still well behind. dug themselves here early in the ballgame, it's definitely going to be a long road back. But we've seen stranger things happen, and who knows? Maybe we'll look back on this home run as the one shot that got the huge... Juan Rodriguez will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Curveball looked at here for strike one. Here it comes. And this ball's heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. On a big curveball is in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone. That's the way you want to see guys respond after giving up a home run. You know, some guys, they go into a shell, they hang their heads. Some guys get a little gun shy. They start to nibble at the corners. This guy... He gets teed off, and he comes right after the next guy in the lineup. If I'm a pitching coach, that's what I want to see. The 0-2 home from Billingsley. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. I have to imagine there's a full moon tonight, judging by this bunch. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this. Javier Lopez will come on now to try and sort this mess out as he'll likely be asked to go at least a few innings here. Dominic Brown will stand in to lead things off here in the Philadelphia 6th. Now he goes the other way, and he got a lot of it high and deep to left center field. And it's gone! A solo home run for Dominic Brown. 12 home runs for him now thus far, as this is now a seven-run ball game. You just can't throw that pitch right there. That swing tells a story right there. I mean, he got all of that one. Remember, he homered in yesterday's ball game too, so He's riding a pretty good hot streak these past couple of days. Ryan Howard will stand in now following the home run. And you wonder if that losing streak is about to go by the wayside. Well, they're not home yet, but certainly this has been a much better performance than we've seen out of them for a while now. So all signs seem to be pointing to a potential victory. And now the left-hander Jeremy Affelt is up and throwing in the Giants' bullpen. And a bouncing ball, foul. Now here it comes. And a big cut at the breaking ball, but he comes up empty, and that's the first out. 
It's not fun for righties to hit against this guy. For left-handed hitters, it's really not fair. I mean, how are you supposed to hit a pitch like that? Simple answer is, you don't. Into the box now, Chad Billingsley, as he'll go after the first pitch and bounce one foul for the first strike. Now here's the pitch. This is hit sharply to the left side. And this gets on him quickly here and deflects off him. So, unfortunately, he'll be forced to leave the game here with an apparent head injury. And we're hoping, of course, it's nothing too serious, but it's usually not good when it's above the neck. Adam Duvall will come in as the new third baseman now, following the injury. Number 37, Adam Ben Revere will stand in with a run in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Now batting, the center fielder, Ben Revere. First pitch to him. This is headed toward the hole and through the hole. A one-out single. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Oh, yeah, he's got that magic wand going now. That's his third hit and four trips. All of them singles. And he's been a tough out all game long. Damian Trejo will dig in. He doubled home a run last time around. Here's the first offering. And this is on the ground toward the hole. To Crawford for one. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. Boy, and this would have been a really costly double play. But fortunately, he's hustling all the way down the line. And he's able to beat that throw on the back end. Michael Franco will stride in again. And before he takes his cut here, let's flash you back to the third inning. This was just a solo shot, but it definitely helped get this offense going. Runners lead from first and third. Here's the pitch. And he lays off here, but it's a cold strike one. He's set, now the pitch. Chopper, foul. Runners on first and third, two away. He's ready, now the pitch. And this is popped high in the air, back behind short. And Crawford will make the play, and the inning is over. Phillies get one on the home run by Dominic Brown. Bottom of the sixth is straight ahead. It's the Phillies eight and the Giants one. Gary Brown started out here for San Francisco with Buster Posey to follow on deck. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing in one. Tonight, borderline calls, you got to be swinging. Now a swing and a ball pulled down the line to third. And that's a fair ball as this one gets by him at third. One of the first times tonight that they've had their leadoff man on base. Now they've got to find a way to build on it if they want to get back in this thing. Hammered the other way to deep right field. And that'll ricochet off that brick wall in right. And they keep rolling here. Their runners at the corners with still nobody out. Well, you know, you don't get a lot of home runs out there in right field. And you also don't really get a ton of doubles either. This was a nice job of playing that carom. And that's not an easy thing to do out there with the bricks and the angles, the chain link fence out there. They hold him to just a long single. That's a great play. Here's the 1-1 pitch. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. 1-2. Now a ball lying towards center field. In there, base hit, and that ought to get the run in from third. Adam Duvall will come on as he's newly into the ballgame, getting his first plate appearance now here in the sixth. 
good breaking ball there. Had him frozen. Strike one. Now with two on, nobody out, you got to be thinking strikeout double play out there on the mound. One or the other is what you really need. Justin Maxwell will have another go. He struck out looking his last time. Now about a 58-foot breaking pitch that he wisely lays off here. 1-0 pitch now. Swing and a miss, 1-1. One one. Yeah, curveball, then change up here on the first couple pitches. Now might be the time to see him run that fastball in on his hands. Maybe try and get this guy to pop something up. Brown will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. And you know, he really doesn't have to throw that changeup all that much for it to be an effective pitch. And you can see what his breakdown is so far. First pitch coming. Brandon Crawford stands in as he looks at ball one here. Comes back with a fastball, but this one's by him for strike one. Two runs, seven hits, and one error in the ballgame for San Francisco. Now a ball lined to the left side. He waits. Now the pitch. Oh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. And this is going to wind up as extra bases as that'll play one for sure and maybe a second. And the runner is in from second. And he will score as well. And now all of a sudden, this is a four-run game again. Pretty good swing that time. And even better hustle. He's able to pull into third with a triple. The full look now. Trim that lead down to four. Joaquin Aria will dig in. One for two to this point in the ball game. In tight with the curveball. Backed up on him a little there. And it's ball one. So after the strong five innings, things have not come as easily for him here in inning number six. And sorry to interrupt, but the play has been made for the third out. Inning over. So three runs on four hits, no errors, and a man left on. Seventh inning coming up. It's the Phillies eight and the Giants four. Back here in San Francisco. It's on to the seventh inning now with the Phillies out in front, and it's a good time to check out our game summary through the first six innings so far. Adrian Beltre will stand in here hoping to duplicate what he did back in the second inning. Flash you back to take another look at the solo home run that helped get this offense rolling. Here's the first pitch. And the seventh inning starts with a swing and a routine grounder to short. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Cameron Ruff will stand in. He flew out his last time up. First pitch on the way. Now a swing and a ground ball. But this is foul for the first strike. pitch. Now the 0-1 is swung on and hit on the ground to third. On to first and it's a quick start to the seventh as now there are two away. Well I think he got away with one right there. I mean this is a fastball right down the middle and he just smokes this ball too but unfortunately he hits it right at someone so it becomes a fairly easy out. Now the first pitch. First pitch here is swung on and chopped toward the right side of the infield. Belt will take this one himself, and that ends the inning. So they go down without a whimper here. We've reached the seventh inning stretch here in San Francisco. It's the Phillies eight and the Giants four. Gregor Blanco is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. And here's a fastball called for strike one. Well, unfortunately, it appears he's going to be forced out of the game with what looks like a lower right arm injury. And it could be a number of issues, of course, so hopefully it's nothing too serious. Genmar Gomez will be summoned now to take over following the injury. And he 
a look at a fastball just off the black, and it's even at one. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. Just overmatched him there. The one two. Fastball called strike three, and there's the first out of the inning. And even with the new pitcher in there, I, I think you tip your cap a bit to that starter. I mean, he, he gutted out six tough innings, and he's given his guys a good chance at victory if this bullpen can hold the lead. So with one away, it's the center fielder, Angel Pagan. Some action in the Phillies' bullpen as a right-hander begins to crank it up out there. Yeah. Fastball in there for a cold strike. Now the pitch. And this will be fouled away. Four runs, eight hits, and one error in the ballgame for San Francisco. And this is in the air down the left field line and into foul territory. Brown is over now, and he puts this one away in foul territory, and there are two men out. Good start to the inning here out of the bullpen. And after three runs came in to score last inning, they needed someone to come in here and slow that offense down a bit. Gary yeah. Brown is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. And even with two outs, this is a team that can still put something together here, especially in this part of the lineup. So you can and he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Giants down in order. They're unable to make a dent in an 8-4 deficit. Jeremy Offelt will be summoned from the bullpen now, so he'll take over to start inning number eight. Dominic Brown will stand in yet again as we flash you back to the middle inning. This was a turning point here, a solo home run that was really one of the key at-bats of the ballgame to this point. Not the greatest of starts to the at-bat as he reaches for one out of the zone for strike one. Yeah, I don't think that pitch wound up where he wanted it to, but it did the trick. Now here's the pitch. Not cheated on that swing, but the splitter's by him 0-2. And that splitter, it's only coming in around 86, but it's really falling through the zone. And now a pitch on the way. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first down. Well, this has been a bullpen game for some time now, but let's go back and review the performances of the two starters, neither of whom turned in an outing to remember. Ryan Howard will stand in, one of the few guys not to join the hit parade so far. First pitch coming. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. And Belt will just take this one over himself for the out. And at this point in the game, your defenders will love you for this. He's been able to pick up the first two outs of the inning here on just four pitches. Salvador Perez will get the call to pinch hit here as we'll see what he can do with two outs and the base is empty. Hard hit to third. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Phillies down in order. They still lead it by a count of 8-4. to four. Jerome Williams is on out of the bullpen now, as he'll take over to start the bottom of the eighth. Buster Posey will step in. Singled and came around to score his last time. Bouncing ball, foul. And the pitch. And here's the ball lifted high into foul ground down the right field line. And he reaches up to track this one down for the first out. And he had to go a long way to get to that ball. Brandon Belt will step in. An RBI single this last time around. Now a ball hit hard toward first. And that's a fair ball as this one will get down the line.
Now you could see him just basically jumping at that first pitch. He pulls it into right field for a solid base hit. Adam Duvall will stand in now in what could be a real make-or-break situation. And you think at this point you have to get something out of this inning. The further you get into that bullpen, the tougher it's going to be to claw back from this deficit. Here comes the 1-1. Swing and a ground ball towards the hole. Utley for one. Relay to Howard, and it's in time. The double play, that ends the inning. Around the horn they go. 5-4-3 to four to, three to end the threat. More in a moment on the show, the Friday Night Showcase. Ben Revere will get us started as they look for a little insurance here in the top of the night. Number two, Ben Revere. First offering on the way. This is hit down the right field line, but it's going to get out of play for strike one. Pitch on the way. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground, but this will wind up a foul ball, strike two. Now here it comes. And a swing and a miss. Good pitch there for the first out here in the ninth. And obviously, any time you can strike this guy out, you'll take it. I mean, he runs like a greyhound. So even routine grounders can sometimes be turned into base hits. Not when you're not making contact, though. Here's the first offering. Oh, hit sharply as this is pulled into right. And the catch is made there. Two gone here in the ninth. The minute he hits that, he, he's thinking it's a base hit all the way, but it's one of those situations where you, know, you get penalized for hitting the ball too hard. And this stayed up long enough to find the outfielder's glove out there. Michael Franco is in with two away here as this one swung on and missed for the first strike. Really a good job so far by this guy out of the bullpen. Yeah, he's coming in and really put his stamp on this game. Throwing a lot of strikes. That's what you want. And a bit of a high throw that time, but no problem over there at first as they record the out. Three up, three down for Philadelphia. They still lead it by a count of eight to four. Justin Maxwell start things off here in the ninth. No sign of the closer just yet here in a four-run ball game. Yeah, and I think they'd love to get him a day off here, so they're going to hope that his services aren't required to finish this one off. A high strike there, and it's one and one. Figure we'll probably see a heavy dose of that sinker here tonight. It's really a pitch you'll lean on, especially when he needs that ground ball, but even in situations like this where he's just trying to get ahead. Here's one hit towards the hole, and Beltre throws on to first for the out. Yeah, uh, up by four in the ninth. We want to make sure these guys don't get any momentum on their side, so that's an important first out there. First pitch coming. Brandon Crawford comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. And he's probably not going to throw too many first pitch changeups. That's a pretty darn good call. No ball. Right back to the changeup, just as effective here. It's nothing in two. Now a half swing, but it's strike three anyway, says the home plate umpire. And that's out number two. And here this is one more time on show track. You can see he checked his swing there. And I think he did so in time, but you can clearly see that that pitch is in the strike zone. And I think ultimately that was a called third strike. Late swing, but he's still able to get a lot of this one out to a deep right field. And that'll be shy of the arcade as it's off the brick wall. And he'll round it and try for third. And he will make it up to third base as that is a gift there off of what was a terrible throw. Well, he wasn't too far away from home run number two in the ball game. This thing is tagged pretty good, and you'll see it's going to hit off the wall out there, and in the end, he'll make it all the way up to third. Have a game. Hector Sanchez will get the call here as he'll hit for the pitcher. Drops in a strike to start the at-bat. Nothing in one. Comes set. Now the pitch. Goes the other way as this is down the line at third. And this is going to get by Beltre down the line. A fair ball. Well, apparently, they still got a pulse here. 
A run is in to score on the base hit, and now, with another hit or two, they could really make this interesting. Angel Pagan started to go around, but it's a called strike, 0-1. He's ready now, the pitch. And this is swung on and missed for strike two, and now the Giants are down to their final strike. Pause, now the pitch. Ball swung on and hit high down the line in left, but it'll get back in among the crowd, so the count holds it 0-2. Another 0-2 coming. Swing and a liner. Foul. From the belt, the pitch. And boy, what a battle brewing here as he fouls yet another pitch into the seats. Still stuck on 0-2. Hit hard to the right. Foul. Here comes another 0-2. Good job of holding up on the low ball there, and it's one and two. But well, you don't want to get caught looking on the final out, so that's a tough pitch to lay off. From the stretch. Swing and a line drive to center field. In there, the base hit. You just had the feeling that even though they were down to their final strike, they were not going to go down easily. And now they're going to keep this game alive for at least one more batter. Gary Brown will dig in now, and he'll do so representing the tying run. Yeah, and you're not too worried about this guy jumping the yard on you here and tying the ball game. But if he does find a way to get on base, things get a whole lot more interesting. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. And he'll make the final out to put an end to this one and the Phillies in game one of the series on the road as the ball game is over. Yeah, and that's a good job to come right out here and set the tempo for this series as they finish off a good road victory here in game one. Time to hand out Topps player of the game honors for this one. And guys, I think we can all agree that this fellow right here deserves it more than anybody that took the field in this one. Yeah, you see a couple of hits for him in the ball game. This one was tight throughout, but in the end, he really helped lead his guys to this victory. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. For my partners, Eric Karros and Steve Lyons, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow